Welcome to the penalty box segment for Monday, October 28th. And I've got four NHL bets to give out on the show. Let's start right off the bat with the Florida Panthers going in to play the Buffalo Sabres. And where we're going to look in this game is on over the total of six goals. Now, I don't want to normally take over the total in any Florida Panthers game. This is a team that plays lights out defense and has for close to two years. But this Buffalo Sabres team can score, and they're just a tough team to stop. Uh, They've got so much speed on that ice. They are so young. Uh, There's a lot of space they create. Uh, And look, you go down their last few games, they put up five on Detroit, four on Dallas. Dallas is a good team defensively, very similar to Florida. They put four on Chicago, four on Columbus, five on Pittsburgh. And the last time they played Florida, October 12th, they scored five goals. This Buffalo team has scored four or more goals in six straight games. Uh, And we know Florida can score. They just put up six against the feisty New York Islanders. There's a six on tap. We're going to take it over the total. Now, before we turn our attention to Edmonton and Columbus, I just want to make mention that uh, we had a great weekend. I went three and O for our clients in NHL. uh, Now up profit this NHL season and on a 10 and two run in NHL money line bets. I've got an NHL money line bet up tonight over at wager talk. I also have two NBA plays dominated the NBA season over the last two years, up 95 units of action. I got two NBA plays. You can get all three of them over at Wager Talk. WT.buzz forward slash LP. Please join me, guys. Let's get into the Columbus Edmonton game. And uh, here, really, bottom line, we're going with the Edmonton Oilers at minus one and a half plus 100. I don't normally bet these money line bets, but man, this Columbus team is dreadful. I know they beat Toronto 6-2. Then they came back and played a good game against Nashville, got a point, lost in overtime. But here's a team that's got three points in three games. And so it ends. This Edmonton Oilers team just beat Detroit. They beat Pittsburgh. And look, this Edmonton Oilers team is only four and four on the season. They need a nice run and playing a team like Columbus can do that for them. I think we're going to see a blowout here tonight. Take the Edmonton Oilers minus one and a half plus 100. Now we go to Chicago heading into Colorado and we're doing exactly the same thing here with Colorado guys. Just like Edmonton, this is a team that started off poorly, lost their first four games since then dominant. They've won five straight games, a bunch of them, three of them, Utah, Seattle, and San Jose, total blowouts. Now they play one of the worst teams in all of hockey, a team that can't get out of their own way, and a team that's lost four in a row. I see no reason why Colorado shouldn't blow this team out of the water. Colorado minus one and a half. And guys, feel free to put a small parlay, and you know how much I hate parlays, On Edmonton and Colorado on the money line, I don't think either of these teams will lose tonight. Now we turn our attention to Carolina going into Vancouver, and we're going to look at over the total of six here, guys. Normally, again, like what we spoke about in the first game, I'm not looking to bet Carolina over the total. But man, this Carolina team is scoring at a lights out pace right now. They have scored three or more goals in six straight games. They've scored four or more goals in four of those six straight games. So we know Carolina is scoring, and I know they play incredible defense, but man, this Canucks team, they just put up four on Pittsburgh, six on Chicago, three and three on Philly and Florida, and they can score as well. Plus, they're not playing the best defense, and their goalie's still out. I think we see this game go over the total of six. That's it for the penalty box segment for October 28th. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow.